You are watching the Seafood News weekly video brought to you by the latest issue of Erner Berry's Reporter Magazine. The summer 2021 issue is out now and jam-packed with great insight from Erner Berry's team of market reporters. Get your copy by visiting ernerberry.com slash reporter. I'm Seafood News Managing Editor Amanda Buckle. And I'm Erner Berry Seafood Market Reporter Lauren Castiglione. In our top story, there continues to be no relief in sight for rising king crab pricing. All sizes remains at all-time highs, even with imports nearly 45% higher through May 2021 as compared to the same time period last year. The market remains tight. Demand is active and continues to fall short of buyers' full needs. When looking at pricing, all sizes of both red and golden king crab out of Russia are at all-time highs, greatly surpassing anything the industry has ever seen. Specifically, the pricing of six to nine reds is 98.4% higher than the last three-year average and 87.9% higher than the same time last year. Supply remains severely strained due to continued strength of the live market in Asia, no spot king crab availability out of Alaska, and quota limitations in Russia. In other news, on Friday, President Joe Biden signed an executive order to promote competition in the American economy. The executive order was created with the intent to lower prices for families, increase wages for workers, and promote innovation and even faster economic growth. Looking at what specifically impacts the seafood industry, the order encourages the Federal Maritime Commission to ensure vigorous enforcement against shippers charging American exporters exorbitant charges. National Fisheries Institute President John Connolly issued the following response to the executive order, stating, We believe deeply in a free market economy, but this year alone we expect seafood companies to incur an estimated $88 million in extra port-related costs, an amount 20 times higher than last year. Skyrocketing detention and demerge charges coupled with untenable delays is not about economics and competition, it's about a problem in the supply chain that needs to be addressed. Meanwhile, land-based salmon farmer Atlantic Sapphire expects to lose 17% of its annual harvest volume at its Denmark facility following an incident with one of its grow-out systems. The company said preliminary findings indicated that maintenance work performed in the filtration system caused water quality to quickly deteriorate, resulting in elevated mortality. This human error led to the alteration of water levels in the recirculating aquaculture system and allowed previously stagnant water to flow into the tanks. Atlantic Sapphire said the lost fish would have been harvestable in Q2 of 2021. The financial impact of this event is expected to cost about $3 million after expected insurance proceeds. With hopes of avoiding a similar instance in the future, the company has adjusted its operating procedures immediately. And finally, Boston lobsters may be a popular menu item in Hong Kong, but WWF Hong Kong is encouraging diners to avoid the species. On Tuesday, the International Non-Government Organization updated their version of their seafood guide, which promotes the consumption of green and sustainably produced seafood. The seafood guide classifies seafood items as green, recommended, yellow, to think twice, and red, avoid. The newly revised guide now lists Boston lobster as red avoid due to harvesting grounds overlapping with the habitat of the North Atlantic right whale. The updated seafood guide from WWF Hong Kong comes as the U.S. lobster fishery anxiously waits on the federal government's impending rules designed to reduce the risk to North Atlantic right whales. Now subscribe to our channel below and be sure to head over to seafoodnews.com or visit the Seafood tab in Comtel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news. And don't forget to listen to a new episode of the Seafood News Podcast, released on Spotify, SoundCloud, and iTunes every week. Thanks for watching, and you be well. well.